Hey guys, Paladin here. How you doing? Time for another PC build? And this is an editing PC, not a gaming one. So it's going to be more focused on CPU and stuff, which actually the GPU is still more expensive, but I'll get into that and why it is in a second. Literally a second, because I'm about to talk about the CPU, which is the first item in our build. Yeah, I'm sounding too enthusiastic for this, aren't I? Anyways, first of all, the CPU is the Intel Core i7-83, or I mean, 3820. I don't know why I paused. I was reading it. Anyways, this is a 3.6 gigahertz quad-core processor. Pretty sure the turbo, the turbo is 3.9. Pretty sure it does that. It does have a turbo, uh, but that's not really that important since you'll probably overclock. Anyways, this is a $300 CPU. It's about a year old. Um, but I still think it's on par with an i7-4770K, if not stronger. The reason I picked this CPU instead of, like, like a 6-core Intel CPU, because I was trying so hard to do that, but it was running the build $50 more, so I didn't want to do that. I wanted to make it exactly 1500 which it's still not exactly 1500 because it's, like, $1,507. But that's $7 that's not going to kill you. You're already spending 1500 on it. You might as well spend the $7 extra dollars. Unless you really don't like the build because of that now, and now you're going to dislike the video because the build is $7 more than it is actually supposed to be, which is a stupid reason to dislike the video. But anyways, watch me get a dislike anyways. <laughs> um, but moving on, uh, the reason I picked this CPU is because I wanted a LGA 2011 CPU, and this was like the cheapest one to run through in the build because I literally couldn't fit the 6 core in, and there was nothing else to choose that was immediately compatible out of the box. I was going to pick the uh, 4820, I believe that's what it's called. But uh, it, it has compatibility issues and, out of the box with it, because you might need a BIOS update. That's what the site kept telling me. And I was like, no, I want everything to work out of the box. <laughs> Unless you get a DOA, then that's sad and very unfortunate. I hope that doesn't happen to anybody that buys any of these parts. But anyways, next up is the Corsair H100i uh, water-cooled CPU cooler. It is $90, and this is a very popular CPU cooler. Do I need to really honestly explain what it does? It water-cools your CPU, and it does it very efficiently, and it allows for great overclocks. Anyways, next up, the motherboard is a Gigabyte GAX79 UP4 <gasps> ATX LGA 2011 motherboard. It is going to run you at $225. Uh, now, ironically enough, this is almost as expensive as the CPU, uh, but I wanted to grab a good motherboard because what if you want to upgrade the CPU, which is what I'm actually hoping you're going to do because within like five years, maybe even three years, depending on how long you want the CPU, you're going to probably eventually upgrade the CPU, um, and keep the motherboard because the motherboard is, you might as well keep an LGA 2011 motherboard. But um, you might want to upgrade to like a 6-core like I was originally trying to put in the build, which if you're wondering what 6-core I'm talking about, um, then you can just comment in the description down below and I will tell you. I can't remember off the top of my head what it is, but if, if I look it up again, which I don't want to do right now because it's going to take up video time, uh, then I will tell you. Anyways, next up is 16 gigabytes of Crucial Ballistic Sport uh, DDR3 1600 MHz uh, RAM. It is going to run you at $135. I always like to put 16 gigabytes in an editing PC because it gives a lot of speed and you want speed when you're trying to edit stuff. Um, next up is the Samsung 840 Evo 120 gigabyte uh, solid state drive. It is $98. And uh, I pretty much already went over this in my gaming PC build, but if you're just watching this for the editing PC builds and you're not watching all my videos, um, this is a very great SSD. It is an, uh, technically an upgrade from the original 840s, and it's just really speedy. It's got great performance, and all the reviews say it's a great SSD. You can't go wrong with it. So yeah, that's what I picked. Uh, next up is the Seagate Barracuda 3 terabyte uh, internal hard drive, and it is $105. You got three terabytes of space, man. You, you can't go wrong with that. And the Seagate, uh, Seagate is a very popular company, and the Barracuda lineup is also a very popular lineup. That's why I picked it. Uh, sorry that I'm kind of breezing through some of these items, but I, I have to. There's so much stuff to name off, and, like, I'm trying to compress this into ten minutes, but it's not probably going to get compressed into ten minutes because I'm talking and I'm wasting freaking time. Anyways, next up is your video card, the Gigabyte Geoforce GTX 770 2 gigabyte video card it is going to run you at $335 
And, uh, yeah. It is a really fast GPU. This GPU is going to get you through a lot of programs and applications, especially ones that use CUDA in the first place, uh, which is NVIDIA's thing. They like to use CUDA, and that is a very good technology, unless you're trying to use OpenCL, in which case you might want to use a Radeon card, but, um... To be completely honest, I if I think this would still work in OpenCL. Or is it GL? Is it GL or CL? <laughs> wow, I forgot the one letter. But anyways, programs that use that um, specific type of hardware will need to, you know, you know, if you're using Open... I swear to God it's GL, but it might be CL. Uh, if it's OpenCL and or GL, then it would be for, you know, AMD. Uh, next up, for, you know, NVIDIA programs that would probably be using CUDA, CUDA um, you would want an NVIDIA card for that. But the the 770 would probably do decent in open, I'm going to say it's CL for now. Uh, I'm pretty sure the 770 would do just fine in open CL. Watch it be GL and I feel stupid. I feel like it's CL, though. <laughs> Anyways, next up, the case is the Fractal Design R4. Uh, with a window, Black Pearl ATX mid-tower case. Again, if you're not watching my gaming PC builds, I generally gave a description of this case already, but I will give another one just because of the video. Uh, it is going to run you at $90. Uh, the Fractal Design R4 is a quote-unquote silent case. It is a silent case because I've seen reviews of it, and it's also a really great case in general because if you don't know what case this is by now, you should because this is a really great case. Um... It's got tons of, fe tons of features that fits a lot of stuff inside of the case, and uh, it's black, clearly. Anyways, it has window too, so you can see all your parts and stuff and all your hard work that you did and put into the CPU, because that's nice and that's dandy. <laughs> Anyways, next up is the Corsair RM650 80 Plus Gold Certified Fully Modular ATX Power Supply. That is still a ridiculously long name, holy crap. That is going to run you at $110. $110, I repeat, <laughs> I said the word wrong, the first, uh, I didn't say it wrong, I said it awkwardly the first time, so I wanted to repeat myself in a funny way, I don't know if it was actually that funny, but anyways, moving on, uh, this is also a quote-unquote silent CP uh, CPU, PCU, <laughs> uh, power supply, it is apparently silent, and from the reviews, it is per apparently very, you know, well-known to be silent, uh, it does its job, and yeah, it's, uh, I really, a lot of people, I don't, I don't know, uh, a lot of the parts inside of the power supply are a little iffy, and it's weird that Corsair is using them, however, it is, you know, the reviews don't lie, people own the thing, and they say it's great, um, if you want to choose a different power supply, if you don't, uh, then keep this one, but if you do, comment down below, like, a different power supply that you might want to use, but, uh, other, otherwise, Corsair is a great company, and the RM series is also a great series. Uh, next up is your optical, ah, uh, optical, optical <laughs> drive. It is the Asus optical drive. I'm not going to read all that because that's a bunch of random numbers and crap, and I don't feel like saying them. <laughs> um, it's, it's an optical drive. It, you put the discs and stuff in it, and that's what it does. Uh, it's going to run you at $20, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all of the stuff in the build. Um, that's, you know, that, yeah, that's the build. <laughs> I am surprised this is a lot shorter than the gaming one, ish, sort of. I'm going to watch, watch, I'm, I'm dragging this on right now, and it's going to be like the same length. Not really. Anyways, like I said, the base total is going to run you at $1,507.84. Um, so yeah, don't bite my head off since it's like so, actually technically $8 more than it's supposed to be. But I tried to fit a lot of different things into this PC build that I really wanted to put in and simply couldn't. So I apologize for that. Anyways, if you like the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And uh, yeah, stay sexy. Peace.